friends last time we have seen how to change active voice sentences into passive voice particularly when they are in the continuous and perfect tenses today let us see how to change future tense sentences and sentences with modal verbs how they are to be changed into passive voice to begin with we can take up some future tense sentences you know very well in future tense we have to use will and shall as helping verbs there is one rule here if the active voice sentence is in the future tense while changing that sentence into passive voice we have to use an additional helping verb called be so see the example the teacher will conduct a test this sentence is in simple future tense while changing this sentence into into passive voice you have to use an additional helping verb called be the other things are as usual i told you the formula of active voice and passive voice as usual you have to take the object first then helping verb right so how it becomes a test that is object will be see it is in the future tense there that's why we are using will amele ill en balustha idu nodi illi be anu anta innondu hechina sahayak kriya padavanu balustha idivi a test will be conducted because please remember in passive voice the main verb will be in past participle so how it becomes a test will be conducted by the teacher a test will be conducted by the teacher this is how we change future tense into passive voice by using be similarly if that if an active voice sentence contains a modal verb if you come across a modal verb like uh, can could may might would should must ought need dare in such cases also while changing those modal verbs into passive voice you have to use be as we used it in the future tense there is one example the students should attend the classes the students should attend the classes here we are using the modal verb should to make it passive voice we have to use the additional helping verb be as we used in the future tense see how the answer will be once again you take the object how all classes that is object all classes should be attended should is modal verb after that you have to use be as an additional helping verb all classes should be attended by whom by the students so this example shows that whenever we come across modal verbs in a in an active voice sentence while changing that sentence into passive voice you are using uh, be similarly must be should be can be could be ought to be need to be so with all modal verbs you are using be to make that sentence into passive voice so these are the different tenses in which we have tried to change active voice into passive voice ee rithege bere bere kalagalalli athwa mood galu iddaga vakya ondu active voice vakya vanna passive voice hege maadbeku nodidhe no similarly now we have a different type of sentence because uh, so far we have taken assertive sentences iduvarige now sada vakyagalanna thagondu passive voice maadidive iga supposing the sentence is in the imperative type uh, you know very well uh, we have different types of sentences like assertive sentences interrogative exclamatory and we have imperative sentences also that is one type of sentence adu adu ondu prakarada vakya what is an imperative sentence we know very well generally imperative sentences are in the form of requests and orders right so here when we change imperative sentences into passive voice there we have to use a different formula the technique will slightly change because in imperative sentences we do not find the subject imperative sentences you know they directly start with a with verb only we find a verb then we find an object 
ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಕ ವಾಕ್ಯಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತೀವಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಅಧ್ಯಾರ್ಥಕ ವಾಕ್ಯಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ತೃಪದ ಇರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ನೇರವಾಗಿ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದಿಂದೇ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಅಸರ್ಟಿವ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ವರ್ಬ್ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಪಿರೇಟಿವ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ಅನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಪನ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಓಪನ್ ಈಸ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಚೇಂಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಾಗಿಲನ್ನು ತೆರೆ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ಮಣಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ನೋಡಿದ್ದು ಈ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಬಾಗಿಲು ತೆರೆಯಲ್ಪಡಲಿ ತೆರೆಯಲ್ಪಡಬೇಕು ಈ ಥರ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಹಾಗಾದಾಗ ನಾವು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಶೋನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಇನ್ ದ ವಿಜುವಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಸೂತ್ರವನ್ನು ಬಳಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪಿ ಪಿ ಬಿ ಪಿ ಪಿ ಬಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇಂಪಿರೇಟಿವ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವೈಸ್ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದವನ್ನು ಬಳಸಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇಂಪಿರೇಟಿವ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವೈಸ್ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ಡ್ ಓಪನ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ವೈಲ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವೈಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಲೆಟ್ ನಾವು ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಬಿ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಬಿ ಓಪನ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಓಪನ್ ಅಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಬಿ ಓಪನ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಸೇ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಓಪನ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅನದರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅನದರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವೈಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೈಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವೈಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಡೋರ್ ಬಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಓಪನ್ಡ್ let the door be kindly opened if it is in the form of a request so here uh, in the imperative sentence since there is no subject this is the way of changing that sentence from active as into passive as please note it adanna they would to gamana sir inna bere bere reetiya ee tara vakya ga naavu torusta torusabodu ar mukhyavagi if you take an interrogative sentence prashnarthaka vakya vanta edukondaga particularly an interrogative sentence which begins with who on the example torse nodre i have given one example there who built the taj mahal that interrogative sentence begins with an interrogative pronoun called who taj mahal vannu yaru kattisidaru that is your active s adu passive s nalli how it becomes in kannada taj mahal lu yarinda kattisalpattitu because this is very very important because how it uh, operates in our mother tongue that also we should know otherwise you cannot understand the significance this comparison is very very important so when you make it passive as it becomes who becomes by whom who it do by whom anta aagutade nodre adu yega aagutade nodre see by whom was because it is past tense you are taking the helping verb first because it is interrogative sentence by whom was the taj mahal built that built that is past participle it comes in the end by whom was the taj mahal built you can take one more example who invented the telephone another example who invented the telephone when you make it passive as it becomes by whom by whom was the telephone invented by whom was the telephone invented so like this you can change active as sentences in different tenses into passive as similarly i told you about imperative sentences and interrogative sentences and how to change them into passive as i think all it needs i uh, basic things you might have understood with these tips if you practice some more examples taking examples from your grammar books if you practice definitely uh, you will become more confident in the uh, process of changing active as into passive as thank you very much